the Hidden Halig Tree is one of the endgame areas in Elden Ring. This guide explains exactly what is required to reach the Halig Tree area, starting from the open world. Feel free to use the timestamps in this video's description to skip ahead if necessary. First things first, we'll need the two halves of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion. The right half can be obtained from Albus in the village of the Albanarix. This location can be reached by traveling northwest through the Lyurnia marshlands, starting from the Laskir Ruins site of Grace. Head through the water and stick to the west. You should eventually find yourself traveling beneath the undercroft of a large jagged landmass. Find the stakes with bodies on display and you found the entrance to the village of the Albanarix. Albus is just slightly east of the site of Grace here, disguised as an inanimate object. You'll need to hit him once and only once to reveal his true form, then speak with him until he gives you the right half of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion. He should also give you a lead on the whereabouts of the medallion's left half. It's due west of the Laskir Ruins, and the location you are looking for is the Lakeside Crystal Cave. Travel through the cave to reach the slumbering wolf shack where you'll find Albus's daughter, Latena the Albanarch. Speak with her and show her the right half of the medallion. She'll reveal that the left half was taken from her by a warrior to the far north in the mountaintops of the giants. Now to gain access to that region you'll need to acquire the rolled medallion. This medallion is given to you by Melina after you defeat the Omen King at the Elden Throne. To reach the Elden Throne, you'll first need to defeat Starsker's Radon and Kaelid and then make your way through the Royal Capital. Once you've managed to get the Rolled Medallion, you can head north into the mountaintops of the Giants. Starting from the Grand Lift of Rolled, it's a pretty straightforward journey up north to Castle Sol. You'll then need to battle your way through the castle and defeat the boss at the end to acquire the left half of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion. If you are in need of stronger weapons and abilities, I have guides on a handful of items that I have found to be extremely helpful. Links to those videos can be found in this video's description. Now that we have both halves of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion, we can actually begin our journey to the Halig Tree. Start by returning to the Grand Lift of Rolled Site of Grace. Stand on top of the pedestal, but don't hoist the ordinary medallion. Instead, flip through the options to find and use the Hoist Secret Medallion option. This will take you to the hidden path to the Halic Tree. Now this path is actually a full-fledged explorable dungeon, but to reach the Halic Tree you can just take the very straightforward path through to emerge on the other side. Vision is heavily obscured on this side of the path, and until you find a map fragment, you are flying almost completely blind. Using the compass on your HUD, head almost directly north with a slight tilt towards the east. You should quickly reach the consecrated snowfield site of Grace. From there, you will want to head as directly north as you can manage, and you should be able to travel a pretty far distance without any obstacles. Eventually, a cluster of rocky formations that are directly in your path will become visible. Skirt around the right side to make a safe drop down to the ground below, then head northwest to find the inner consecrated snowfield site of grace a very short distance away. Visibility will clear up substantially when you move north from this site of grace. Head north and grab the map fragment for this area, then proceed to Ordena the liturgical town. From the site of Grace, head up north into the town proper, loop counterclockwise around the main structure at the back of the town to find a gargoyle and an Everjail nearby. Instead of a boss, four figures will need to be found and lit in order to complete this Everjail. When you enter the Everjail, there will be dangerous archers on the rooftops and invisible assassins prowling the walkways. 
You can use the sentry torch to reveal the assassins, and this can be purchased at the Hermit Merchant near the outer wall of the royal capital. That being said, I found it's better to just avoid the assassins entirely by taking a specific route through the Everjail town. When you first enter, head straight forward and hop over a few barriers to reach a set of ladders to the first figure. From there, move northeast along the rooftops to reach the second figure. This is the most dangerous part as you will need to roll to dodge arrows being shot at you by two separate archers. There should be enough cover near the second set of ladders to single out and defeat the archer nearby, which you'll want to do before proceeding to the second figure. From the second figure, drop down and move southwest towards the third figure, retracing a small part of the path taken when first entering the Everjail. You'll want to climb up some crumbled ruins and deal with the archer up on the roof before moving further northwest. The final figure is down at street level and can be quickly reached from the starting point of the Everjail, just a short distance to the southeast. That being said, be wary of the invisible assassin near this final figure. If you die in the middle of the Everjail, don't worry too much, progress on lighting the figures is saved from previous attempts. Once all four figures have been lit, you will be transported back to the overworld version of the town, which will now be free of any seals or barriers. Travel up the large staircase that is now accessible to the northeast. At the top, you'll find a portal that will take you to the Halleck Tree Canopy Site of Grace. And that is all there is to it, you are now free to explore the hidden Halleck Tree. If you want to see more great guide videos, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat? Her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day if you're here today. Have a great Tuesday and a great week. And as always, thanks for watching.